Okay, practice mono hybrid question two, page 10. Okay, uh, a round pea plant is crossed with an unknown parent. Okay, so underline the parents. We know the legend for this by now. Uh, underline the parents, tell me their genotype. So round parent, capital R, don't know what the other allele is. Nowhere's in the question. Does it say whether it's hetero or homo? So we don't know, we use line to represent that. Cross with a completely unknown. We know nothing about this. Good strategy, always put these lines in there uh, to indicate that yes, you do know that there are paired alleles that have to form that genotype of that unknown parent. Uh, but at this point, like we say, we don't know what the parent is. When you have these type of questions, we said you are now going to have to look at offspring to be able to fill this in. And fill this in being what are the genotypes of the parents? So we look at offspring, not just any old offspring, we're gonna look for recessive offspring. We don't care about the ratio at this point, but we do care about, at this point, whether or not there are any recessive wrinkles, and there are. That means that that uh, wrinkled uh, offspring had a little r, little r alleles, two recessive alleles. One came from each parent, so now we filled in this one. We know this unknown parent, and this one comes from here. But you can notice, unlike the other question, we haven't completely filled everything in. When you haven't completely filled everything in, now you have to look at ratios. That would be your step four, if necessary. Sometimes you don't need to, in this case we do. Step four says a 50-50 uh, chance of having that. Well, we know, if you remember your patterns, if both parents are heterozygous, it's not a 50-50, it's a three to one. That's not the case here. So we know that the other pattern that we wanted you to identify is when there is a 50-50 ratio, one parent is generally heterozygous, like this, and the other parent is homozygous recessive. Now, just to test this, you don't have to do this on the test, but if you wanted to just test this theory, let's just put this in here and see if we actually do get 50-50. Fill this in quick. And you can see we do. 50% of these guys are going to be wrinkled. 50% of these guys are going to be round. Okay, thanks guys.